ladies and gentlemen, many of you might have heard about the grand jury verdict for the Brianna Taylor trial. And I don't like grand juries because in many cases they use these grand juries to get police officers out of everything. And, you know, if you've been following me, you'll know how Amy Klobuchar, when she was a DA, no cop was ever convicted or charged for murdering people in the Black community in Minneapolis. And this DA, I have zero confidence in him. He's really no better. So what they have decided to do is charge one cop is the same cop that was fired and the other cops they're letting them go completely so you know once again america let the killers run free you know that's how it is in this country killers get to run free am i satisfied with the verdict no i don't feel it's a good verdict and i believe they already made the decision for it to be this way when the $12 million wrongful death payout was the week before. They had already decided how this was going to go down, even with then. And I, I bet they had negotiated that whole thing because you know, these people, oh, these folks are so shady. They really are. So I have a live stream that's going to be um, on Friday at 7.30 Eastern time, Eastern uh, standard time. And, you know, I will talk in more detail about how I feel about this whole thing, but I don't believe this is a good verdict. And I don't like how this DA has tried to put the entire blame on Kenneth Walker, who was uh, Brianna Taylor's boyfriend. He's trying to blame him for the whole shooting. First of all, Kentucky should never have had a no-knock warrant, especially for the reason why they were going over there to her home. There were no drugs found in Breonna Taylor's home, and she had zero criminal history at the time she died. Now, there are people out here trying to criminalize her. It is simply not going to work. I had somebody come and try to pull that garbage in my comment section and I blocked their butts trying to say she was involved in criminal activity. There was no evidence of that. And you know what? You can't speak that into existence. And number two, Brianna Taylor had no track record in the years that she was alive of being involved in drugs. So, I believe all three cops should have been charged. I think this verdict is lousy. It, it doesn't go far enough. So this is what the grand jury came with. And even that cop ain't going to, if if he goes to jail, I'll be shocked. And if he goes, y'all, it ain't going to be but a very short period of time. So the only one they got that they are charging is Brett Hankinson on wanton endangerment charges. He ain't going to be in there long if he goes to jail. But this, remember, it is not a conviction. So the others will not be charged with killing Breonna Taylor at all. And it really should be any of those cops that fired rounds. So they're saying that Hankinson had fired 10 shots during the raid and he was only uh charged for having fired shots that ended up in a neighboring apartment to taylor's home not into her residence itself you see this bullshit here <laughs> i mean you really gotta look at how they made this decision it is just going to leave you mad. The two other cops involved in the raid on Taylor's house, Officer Miles Cosgrove and Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly, were not criminally charged by the grand jury. So they're completely off the hook. They're completely off the hook. And, you know, and I was reading somebody was saying maybe the Justice Department, look, you got William Barr 
in charge of the Justice Department. Since William Barr, fat ass, has been in there, he has not helped the Black community one bit when those cases were sent there. He refused to help. He's not going to do nothing on the behalf of Breonna Taylor either. He's not going to do nothing. Just look at the, just look at him. I mean, this man is a big mess. He's not going to do anything. It's a waste of time trying to get the DOJ involved in any shootings involving black people. He's not interested in doing anything ever. And that's fine. You know where you stand with William Barr. He's a waste of time. So the attorney for the family, you know, is Ben Crump. And, you know, I guess he was able to negotiate that $12 million, but at what expense? So now the Jefferson County grand jury indict former officer Brett Hankinson with three counts of wanton endangerment in first degree for bullets that went into other apartments, but nothing for the murder of Brianna Taylor. So they're still getting him out of everything. <laughs> Y'all, this is not a victory. This is outrageous and offensive, Crump tweeted. If Brett Hankinson's behavior is wanted endangerment to people in the neighboring apartments, it should have been wanton endangerment for Brianna Taylor's apartment too. In fact, it should have been ruled wanton murder, Crump added. Judge Annie O'Connell said a warrant will be issued for Hankinson's arrest. The bail is set at, listen to the bail, y'all. Listen how low this bail is. The bail is set at $15,000. So he is not Listen, he is not being charged for shooting bullets in Breonna Taylor's apartment. His bullets went flying into other people's apartments. I know the one above her uh, got hit with several bullets. But as far as shooting Breonna, he's not in trouble for that. So, no, so it's not one of these cases where, well, at least they got one. No, not really. No, not really. You know, anytime they wanted her ex-boyfriend to implicate her as part of their drug ring, to put them on probation instead of going to jail for 10 years, you should know the DA is shady and that he is Cameron here is very, very shady. So no, I am not happy. Nobody should be happy with this verdict. It was really not a victory at all for Breonna Taylor. But y'all, please tell me what you think. And don't forget to join me. I have a panel. Hopefully, you know, people will show up and we'll have a really deep discussion about this verdict on Friday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.